Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hamza Ahmed and along with my team we will be taking you on a short journey to a planetary system located in a large period spiral galaxy known as Milky Way. On our journey we will be covering one of approximately 100 billion stars found in our galaxy that came into being over 4.5 billion years ago. About 25,000 light years away from the center of galaxy our planetary system is located at the Orion arm of Milky Way. Our home Earth is found in such a planetary system commonly known as the solar system derived from the Latin word solus means sun. It is dominated by our star in the center, the sun and everything is bound to it by gravity which orbits around it. That includes planets, satellites, asteroids, comets and other heavenly bodies which will be explained later on in this presentation. Well. It is one of 500 known solar systems in our Milky Way galaxy, but ours is only known to support life. Just like the revolution of planets around the Sun, our solar system is also orbiting to the center of Milky Way with a speed of 8,28,000 km per hour and it is estimated that after 250 million years, our solar system will pass the center of our galaxy. You might be wondering about the formation of solar system having theories like how it all came into being at once. So allow me to answer you with the short story of Big Bang. Roughly 13.8 billion years ago, when a cloud of dust and gas known as solar nebula collapsed, it caused a big explosion named as Big Bang that scattered away the mass and energy it held, which with the passage of time shaped into the formation of our as we know stars are made up of hydrogen and helium gases, our sun is also a giant star composed of mainly 91% hydrogen and 8.9% helium with only 0.1% oxygen and iron. So calling it massive won't do justice as it makes up 99.8% of mass in our whole solar system due to high temperature and thermonuclear fusion at its core with a rate of fusion 620 million tons of hydrogen per second. It generates an enormous amount of energy in the form of radiation, electricity and solar wind. To us, it is the source of life in the form of light and heat. It is referred as the heart of solar system. Thanks to sun's tremendous gravity, which keeps everything in place. According to some researchers, our sun might run out of fuel in 6.5 billion years. Don't worry, it has a long way to go before collapsing into a white tower. Structure of our solar system majorly comprises on life-giving star, our sun, and eight planets with their moons that can be categorized into two types. Following the sequence, the inner four planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, commonly known as terrestrial planets, as these are relatively small, having solid surfaces made up of rocky material, while the rest four planets being huge in sizes, having many moons, rings, and possessing unique characteristics are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, also known as the Jovian planets. Well, these two categories are divided by a disc-shaped region of rocky metal objects called asteroid belt, which is found between Mars and Jupiter. Past Neptune lies Kuiper or Kuiper belt, which is a collection of solar system remnants that are smaller than planets like meteoroids, comets, and off planets. Beyond that is our Oort cloud, which contains icy debris and said to be the edge of solar system, and a place where sun's gravitational and physical influences ends. All the objects in our solar system orbits around the sun in their respective orbits. Based on their distances from the sun, these orbits are not round rather elliptic. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Malik Muhammad Chavez. Today I'm going to tell you about four inner tracial planets in our solar system. The first planet from the sun, the planet Mercury is named after the messenger of Roman gods because of its splitting nature across the sky. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. Its diameter clearly major is just over 3000 miles about the size of continents of the United States of America. Like Earth, Mercury is a tracial planet with three main layers, a core, a mantle and a crust. Only Mercury crust has no tectonic plates and it's no moons and no rings. The surface temperature reached 427 degrees Celsius in a daytime and over the night it's reached 173 uh, degrees Celsius uh, it's because of its snow atmosphere to regular temperature. So far only been visited two aircraft. Uh, number one, Mariner 10. Number two, Messenger. Our solar system is not the biggest planet, but we can see it in the sky. The reason for this is because it is close to the second planet. The second planet is around the Venus, which are the gases of the deepest clouds. The clouds are so deep that when the sun's light is 73% of the 
लाइट वापस रिफ्लेक्ट कर देता है जिसकी वजह से वीनस के वीनस के जिसकी वजह से अर्थ के मून के बाद सबसे ज़्यादा शाइन करता है वीनस वीनस हैज़ नो मून वीनस की सतह पर गैसेज दो सौ पचास किलोमीटर की मोटी तेल लिपटी हुई है वीनस की जमीन हर वक्त लावा गलती रहती है लाइक अर्थ पर जिस तरह के फॉरेस्ट हैं वीनस पे लावे के माउंटेन हैं और प्लस सल्फूरिक एसिड यानी के तेजाब की बारिश भी होती रहती है वीनस पे चंद स्ट्रॉम सौ किलोमीटर पर आवर के हिसाब से चलती रहती है बट एक इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट ये भी है कि वीनस पे ग्रेनाइड यानी संग मरमर मौजूद है बदनाओ सन के कर, इतने करीब होने की वजह से इसका एटमोसफेयर इतना थिंक एंड डेंस दे टर्न इन टू अल्थ वीनस टेम्परेचर है स्टर्ज फोर सेवेंटी वन डिग्री हमारे सोलर सिस्टम का फिफ्थ बेगिस प्लानिट है और ये सोलर सिस्टम का वाहिद प्लानिट है जहाँ वह पानी और लाइफ मौजूद है साइंटिस्ट का कहना है कि अर्थ 4.6 बिलियन ईयर गो ओल्ड है अर्थ वाहिद प्लानिट है जिसके अंदर टेक्टोनिक प्लेट्स हैं और वाहिद प्लानिट है जिसके पास पानी भी बहुत है अर्थ का एटमोसफेयर ट्वेंटी ऑक्सीजन है सेवेंटी नाइट्रोजन और वन परसेंट गैसेज मौजूद हैं अर्थ पे 71 परसेंट पानी मौजूद है और 29 परसेंट ड्राई सरफेस है एंड डेजर्ट 35 परसेंट है अर्थ वाहिद प्लानट है जहां पानी तीनों फॉर्म में मौजूद है सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस अर्थ और सन के डिस्टेंस 150 मिलियन किलोमीटर है अर्थ पे सबसे ज़्यादा फ्रीजिंग प्लेस एंटार्टिका है अर्थ का चांद नहीं होता पर्सनल सेटेलाइट ना होता तो अर्थ पे तीन एक दिन तीन घंटे का होता अर्थ की स्पेस से अर्थ की फर्स्ट पिक्चर ली गई थी नाइनटीन मून इज़ अ नेचुरल सेटेलाइट ऑफ अर्थ इट्स ऑर्बिटिंग अराउंड अर्थ लाइट का सोर्स भी है रेवोल्यूशन के दौरान समटाइम्स अर्थ मून और सन सामने सामने हो जाते हैं सच सिचुएशन इस टर्म एज एन क्लिप अर्थ से डिस्टेंस ही मून का थ्री एट फोर फोर हंड्रेड किलोमीटर और इसका डायमीटर थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर है इट्स लाइक वन फोर्थ फ्राम अर्थ फर्स्ट मिशन ऑफ मून ट्वेल्व बारह लोग मून पर जा चुके हैं जो सबसे जो सबके सब यूएस नेशनल थे 1969 में नी नॉन ही था फर्स्ट बंदा जिसने चांद पे अपना पहला कदम रखा था और 1972 पे गैन सर्वन ने सक्सेसफुल मून लैंडिंग की लास्ट मिशन दैट अपोलो 17 मून का कोई एटमॉस्फेयर नहीं जिसकी वजह से टेम्परेचर 123 डिग्री सेल्सियस रिकॉर्ड है हमारे सोलर सिस्टम का फोर्थ प्लानट है मरकरी के बाद सेकेंड स्मॉलेस्ट प्लानट है सन से 200 सौ मिलियन किलोमीटर है और आखिरी टेस्टल प्लानट भी है मार्स पर आयरन डाइऑक्साइड ज़्यादा होने के बावजूद ये रेड नज़र आता है इसके अलावा रेड प्लानट कहते हैं मार्स के नेम रोमन वॉरियर गॉड के नाम पर रखा गया है अर्थ के डायमीटर के हाफ है और सरफेस एरिया की बात की जाए तो ये अर्थ के ड्राई एरिया के इक्वल है अर्थ की तरह मार्स को भी कोर डेंस मेटेलिंग से बना हुआ है इसका एटमॉस्फेयर 84 परसेंट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड 3 परसेंट नाइट्रोजन इसके अलावा वाटर और ऑक्सीजन के ट्रेसेस भी मिलते हैं मार्स पे ग्रेविटी अर्थ की नस्बत 38 परसेंट है मार्स पे एक साल 667 का होता है और इस लाइक अर्थ का एक दिन जस्ट लाइक अर्थ के जैसा होता है आ, मार, आ, मार्स के नॉर्थ और साउथ पोल पर आइस कैप बने हुए हैं लेकिन जब वो मेल्ट होते हैं तो वो गैसेज बन के उड़ जाते हैं मार्स हैज टू मून फोबोस डायमीटर 22 किलोमीटर डायमोस डायमीटर 12 किलोमीटर फोबोस 11 घंटे में अपना ऑर्बिट कंप्लीट करता है और डायमोस uh, 30 घंटे में अपना ऑर्बिट कंप्लीट करता है मार्स पे कम से कम 40 से ज़्यादा मिशन जा चुके हैं लाइक ऑर्बिटर नंबर टू लैंडर नंबर थ्री रोवर बट सिक्सटीन सक्सेसफुल हुए हैं Asteroid belt. Its contain asteroid, minor planets, and dwarf planets, and has a cumulative mass of asteroid 4% of Earth's moon. The region between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter is peculiar as it houses a large family of asteroids. The asteroid belt a place in the solar system where small bodies, mostly rocky and some metallic, orbit the something called minor planets. About carries, carries with 1.5 million others can compressing an estimated 1-2 million asteroid more. Jovian planets, uh, the giant planets of the outer solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, are often referred to as Jovian planets. Uh, this term literally means Jupiter-like. And although exploration of uh, the solar system over the past few decades have revealed that 
uh, Uranus and Neptune are particularly bear little uh, resemblance to Jupiter uh, so they are better described as ice giants the general structures of the Jovian planets are uh, opposite to those of the terrestrial planets rather than having thin atmospheric layers uh, relatively large rocky bodies the Jovian planets have uh, relatively small dense uh, cores surrounded by massive layers of gas uh, made almost uh, entirely of hydrogen and helium these planets do not have solid surfaces unlike the spherical shapes of terrestrial planets the Jovian planets are all slightly oblong the Jovian planets rotate much faster than any of the terrestrial uh, worlds and gravity by itself would make a planet uh, spherical but their rapid rotation flattens out their spherical shapes by flinging materials near the equator outward and Jovian days are much smaller than Earth days and Ju Jupiter and Saturn's day is 10 hours of the Earth's uh, relativity and Uranus and Neptune have uh, 16 to 17 hour days after the size perhaps the most uh, noticeable difference between the Jovian and the terrestrial planets uh, involves moons and rings uh, the terrestrial planets are nearly isolated worlds with earth having only one moon and mars two and uh, many moons and rings orbit uh, each uh, uh, orbit around the Jovian planets all four Jovian planets have rings uh, although only Saturn's rings are easily visible from earth rings are composed of uh, countless uh, small pieces of rock and ice each orbiting its planets like a tiny moon uh, the ring look flat uh, because the particles all orbit in essentially the same plane uh, the rings are located closer to the planet than any of their moderately sized uh, large moons but their inner edge of the ring is still very uh, well above the planet's cloud stop the atmospheres of Jupiter and Saturn are made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium although there is some evidence uh, they contain hydrogen compounds uh, Uranus and Neptune are made primarily of uh, hydrogen compounds with smaller traces of hydrogen, helium, metal and rock the most common hydrogen compounds are methane, uh, ammonia and water uh, the cores of all four Jovian planets are made of a uh, small combination of rock, metal and hydrogen compounds and Jupiter and Saturn have similar interiors with layers extending outward of metallic hydrogen, liquid hydrogen, gaseous hydrogen and topped with a layer of visible cloud unlike Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus and Neptune have cores of rock and metal but also water, methane and ammonia uh, the layer surrounding the core is made of gaseous hydrogen covered with a layer of visible clouds similar to Jupiter's and Saturn's. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Hamas Ahmed. Starting from the comets, comets are small solar bodies sizing a kilometer composed of volatile material having highly eccentric orbits and when they enter the inner solar system, the change in temperature causes their surface to sublimate and ionize creating a coma which is easily visible to naked eye. Comet Hale-Bopp is the most widely observed comet of 20th century. It has orbital period of a, uh, almost two, uh, 2,533 years and was discovered on July 1995. It was visible for a decade or so. It formed one of the most visible coma ever observed. Moving forward, we have Kuiper Belt. It is a circumstellar disk in the outer solar system. It is also similar to the asteroid belt. It is 20 times wide and 200 times as massive. There are some speculations about ninth planet. Astronomers are searching for something that could define the strange orbits of several Kuiper objects. Next up is Pluto, once considered the ninth and the most distant planet. Pluto is now unofficially acclaimed dwarf. Composed of toxic surface and icy ridges with a core of acid, methane and ice and a hard shaped lake filled with ammonia and sulfuric acid, Pluto is 70% rock and 30% ice. After Pluto, Huma is in another dwarf discovered in 2004. It, uh, it is oval in shape and has a diameter of about 770 miles. Just like Huma, Eris wasn't discovered until 2005. It is about uh, the same size as Pluto but three times farther from Sun. 
Discovered in 1950 by Jan Ord, the Oort cloud is a hypothetical cloud of solar system that is uh, solar debris that encloses the entire solar system around it. It is also home to thousands of long period comets. The comets range anywhere from the size of a particle to the size of a large mountain size fragment. These fragments extend up to a trillion kilometer across and are at a distance of 1.2 light years away from sun. At a distance this big, the physical influences of sun weakens due to which the object in the Oort cloud do not orbit sun but rather float and tussle each other. The weaker forces of attraction makes them super sensitive to gravitational chaos around. Due to distance, size and similarities, no objects in the Oort cloud has ever been identified.